hello youtube welcome back to my channel here i go again with a new video well not so new but this is part two of my last video because i didn't post the finished product it was a really long video since i did both hands at the same time here i decided to use a new nail file with um a coarser grit obviously I was surprised I did not take that long um, shaping my nails. These tips were super perfect. So oh, my favorite, favorite shape. You know, it's not like a coffin, coffin, and it's not also like square, square. So more like a tapered square. That's like my favorite, favorite to go shape. Um, so. Here I'm using my dust collector available on my online store. My nail files, also everything I'm using in this video is from my online store. Um, in September, I will be adding a coupon for everybody who wants to order. I will do a free shipping coupon starting September 1st. If you wanna wait till then <clears throat> to make your orders, um, I know my online store has been a little slow just because I haven't been posting or advertising. I noticed the more I post or repost stuff, I get sales. But if I'm not posting nothing at all, I have no sales. Like, how crazy is that? <laughs> but I'm glad it's a little slow because I've been working on my salon. I've been trying to make it... Um, Right now I have a mess at my, so at my shop, you guys. Like, I've been changing stuff, changing um, furniture, just because I want it to look more put together. A lot of people tell me that it looks nice and it's clean, but I'm like, you think this is clean? Imagine what you, what, when I actually clean it, for reals. And what I mean is that I want <clears throat> my product area to look... Like there's no products like all oh, everything hidden away in closets or cabinets drawers and stuff like that so i ordered some cheap little cabinets from amazon hopefully they look nice but guess what you guys i bought some hair stations from amazon and one already fell apart and thank god it was mine because i rarely do hair now so the nails have taken over all my work on my schedule so I'm a little upset that the door is like hanging on and I'm like what kind of freaking I'm kind of disappointed because these stations were 170 some dollars each so I'm hoping it doesn't happen to everyone's station it did happen to mine but I'm kind of disappointed I'm gonna literally be like what kind of but that's what I get for getting something cheap even though it costs more than a hundred dollars close to two hundred dollars you know like that's still a lot of money for something you know even though if it's not good quality i feel like ikea stuff is actually more high quality than what i just ordered kind of disappointed hopefully i can fix it <clears throat> but it looks like the screws are not gonna stay on there tight that's what i'm trying to say kind of mad you guys like what the hell did i do so yeah i'm here i'm just continuing to use my extra long comb bit is a fine grit i love this drill bit you guys especially for long nails because usually when i used to use my other carbide bits the shorter ones i would sometimes leave lines like from the base of the drill bit oh excuse me like like I don't know how I would make lines like crazy ass lines and this one you know the longer the nail I can actually take out the carpet bit out even more so I'm just like oh yes I love this it's super super nice <clears throat> I have it available on my online store um I just love it for long long nails also to clean underneath the nails um, when I do do fills and stuff just because since it's so straight out and long I can get a perfect shape underneath the nail so get you one get you one it will change your life 
especially if you do super super long nails like I do not really this is the longest length I've done in my whole nail career not really I think I did record another video where I did some long long nails um, <clears throat> but no lie you guys I already want to change this set and it's only been a week no not even a week I did these Mondays it's only Friday oh my god I'm looking at them and I'm, I'm in love with them but I already want like something else just because I cracked my gummy bear I thought I recorded the part where I was placing the gummy bear in the video but it looks like I didn't I think I missed all that footage I think it was out of frame so I deleted all that footage but I don't know if you can tell but it did split for me using the nail glue just because I tried to press it flat since it's a rubbery like texture and that was a no because the teddy bear split in half for me putting pressure on it to lay flat on the nail bed so <clears throat> yeah you guys yeah look at how pretty this glitter is this glitter is already available on my online store it comes in a set of 12 um, I haven't posted these nail tips on the online store just yet and I know a lot of people have been waiting on the, on the, what do you call it? The no, how am I a nail tech? And I know these, this terminology, you guys. Um, they're the triple X tips. That's what I call them. Um, <clears throat> oh, the wellless nail tips. Everybody is obsessed with those for some reason. So since I don't feel like I'm going to continue doing the ones with the wells, I'm going to do a clearance sale and sell each packet for $150. All right, so stay tuned September 1st. I'm going to put those on clearance. So you're going to get them for $1.50. So go get them on September 1st. It's, we're almost there. I don't know why I kept looking at my nails, but I was like, why is this nail shaped hella different from all of them? I just felt like it was shaped a lot different. So I'm like, Ugh, whatever. I might just leave it like that. I'm not going to keep filing and filing and filing. But if I look at it from the side, it looks more tapered for some reason than the rest of the nails. And it just looked weird to me. So I was like, whatever. Maybe it was, I don't know what it was. And I didn't want to take that long just filing because I felt like these nails didn't need much filing, to be honest. I felt like I did a pretty good shape with the acrylic, even though I did both hands at the same time. But I love that method now just because I finish much faster. So I guess I'm done filing, am I? Oh no. So then I get a, bit, a finer grit just to smooth out the sides you know reshape them in case I lost a shape while shaping them with the carbide or sending them down <clears throat> I really didn't need to do this step to be honest but I, it's just me being tedious so yeah you guys um <laughs> I don't know what to say since I did a lot of chit chat in my last video oh my god this cone you guys this closes not closes seals the cuticle so good that I have been using this on every single client now. Um, I used I used this tip at the highest speed, to be honest. Just on me, just because, I mean, it doesn't burn, it doesn't hurt. But <clears throat> when I use it on a client, I use it at the highest as a 16th. Just because there's people with sensitive cuticles that can feel, and mines are super thick. So I don't feel anything when I'm doing this, but I've known that some clients are like, oh, I can feel that. And I'm like, oops, sorry. So I have to lower the speed on them. But I feel like it works best at a faster speed. Like it smooths out faster. So yeah, I don't know what I'm looking for. What am I looking for right here? Oh, I guess I still want to smooth out this nail some more when it looks fine to me. I don't know. I'm just being tedious, I guess, today. Don't know, but it looks like I didn't really need to do this step right here. They look already fine. What the hell's wrong with me? But yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. 
um, I need to review the rest of this video just because I did notice I was out of frame a lot when I was doing the rhinestones so I think I only recorded one hand because the other hand I was like all over the place and I was in a hurry because I was like tired and I had other stuff to do so yeah you guys hope you like this video don't forget to comment like and subscribe and see you till the next one next post will be on Monday I did a cute black set with nail forms sculpted so stay tuned for that we use some cute charms that I have available on the online store also I did not think they were gonna be selling out but I guess they're really popular right now just because I guess Cardi B had some nails with them charms <clears throat> so I have four boxes left and yeah you guys it's like if you really count how much you get 240 pieces and if you really divide everything i think it's about 30 cents a piece of rhinestone i mean not rhinestone of charms each charm so it's well worth it um and see y'all later see y'all monday i guess Bye bye